Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing profile card effect using Elementor Page Builder. Here initially, we can see only the headshot name and title inside this card. And when we hover over on it, we can see the beautiful transition effect. The image goes zoom out. Also here at the top, we can see the beautiful curved shape. And also at the bottom, we can see the social media icons. So overall, this card hover effect create a great and unique illusion. I will show you step by step how to do that using Elementor Page Builder. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor Page Builder. So first click on this plus icon to take a new section and I'm selecting this three column structure. Now I'm making its height to minimum height and let's set it to 100 VH. Then inside this middle column, click on this plus icon and here I'm dragging an inner section widget. Now from this inner section, first let's click one of these columns. Now we only have one column inside this inner section. So with this inner section, let's first make the column gap to no gap and here make the height to minimum height and I'm setting it to 350 pixel. Now let's give this inner section a background color from under the style tab. So from here background type, I'm giving it a background color that's kind of white hash F7 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 and then let's add some border so from here open the border actually i just want to add some border radius so from here i'm adding 10 pixel of border radius and i'm adding some box shadow from here so first let's just make the text color i mean the shadow color a bit transparent so i'm making it 0.22 and then from here blur i'm making its value to 8. All right, now I want to add some space at the left and right. So to do it, let's just select the outer column, not the inner column. So I'm selecting the outer column, go under its advanced tab. Let's unbind the padding and first I'm making it in percentage. So on the left and right, I'm adding 3% of padding. All right, now inside this inner column, click on this plus icon. Here first I'm dragging an image widget. Okay, first click here on choose image. So from here, I'm selecting my image and click on insert media. And now let's go under the style tab. First, make the width in pixel because I want to set the width to 130 pixel. Also, let's set the height to 130 pixel. Then from here, object fit, I'm making it to cover. Now I want to make this image rounded. And the simplest way to do it from here border radius, first I'm selecting the percentage and then make the value to 100. Alright, now I want to add some space at the top and bottom. So go under advanced tab, unbind the margin. At the top, I'm adding 30 pixel of margin and bottom 50 pixel of margin. Alright, let's now click on this Rubik's Cube icon and from here, I'm just dragging a heading widget underneath this image here. Now I wanted to say Jim Fahad, that's my name. Let's make the alignment to centered and let's do a bit styling with it. So from here typography, I just want to make the font weight to 700 and from here line height, I'm making it 0 0.5. And then I just want to add a title underneath this heading. So you know, we can just simply duplicate this heading. And then the secondary heading, I want to make it H5 from here and then go under style tab from the typography. Let's make the font weight to 500 and here line height, I'm making it 0 0.1. Okay, now underneath this title, I wanna add the social media icons. So from here, I'm searching for social icons. Here we go. Let's now drag it here underneath our secondary heading. Oops, not in this place. I just wanna put the secondary heading above the social icons so you know, we can just simply drag it above the social icons here. All right, also here instead of Jim Fahad, I wanted to say web designer. All right, let's now do a bit styling with the social icons. So click on this blue pencil icon to select it. Here by default, you have got three social icons, but I wanna add more. So from here, let's say I'm adding here Skype, click on insert. Now go under style tab. From here, I'm making the color to custom color. And the primary color, I'm making it complete transparent by dragging this bottom bar to the left like this. Okay, now I want to add that orange color as background of the social icons. So to do it, just go under advanced tab. From here, open the background tab. Now the background type from the color picker. I'm typing hash FD8345. 
all right now i want to show you another thing here like if we now minimize the left bar here you see our social icons are not perfectly at the bottom of this card so to do it let's open the bar from left just make sure you have selected the social media icons now from under its advanced tab here i'm looking for the positioning here we go now make the position to absolute and then from here vertical orientation let's set it to bottom so no matter how many contents we will have inside this card it will always remain at the bottom of this card all right so we are done with the layout of this card let's now add our curved animation so to do it first let's select the inner section go under its advanced tab and open the custom css field by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro i will put my elementor pro affiliate link in the description if you purchase elementor pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but i will get a little commission for that that will help me to continue this youtube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this all right now we can just simply write the css snippets inside here or we can just go to jimfahaddigital.com I will put this pages link in the description from that page if we scroll down a bit here underneath the curved background css just copy this whole css snippet from here so just simply copy it and now go inside elementor inside the custom css field paste the code now have a look if we hover over on the card we can see the beautiful curved shape at the top of this card it looks really cool to me but now i also want to add the image zoom out effect with it so to add it let's just go again to jimfahaddigital.com from here if you scroll down a bit here underneath image hover css just copy this css snippet from here go inside elementor page builder now here after our existing css snippets i'm hitting enter to make some space and now paste the css code here so if we now hover over on the card now we can see the amazing illusion both with the image zoom out and the background curve by the way i already have made another option for you let's say if you want to change this orange color to any other color then you basically don't need to understand all of this css code just go to the top of this coding snippet and here at the top you can see i have written color and after that here is a hex code now here instead of this orange color if i wanna put here red or blue or any other color for example here i'm just writing red now have a look if we hover over on it both the image border and the curved shape color is now red also if you want you can make it blue like this and have a look now it's blue and to match the design if you want to change the background color of the social icons you know you can do it very easily just click over it go under its advanced tab and from the background you can change this color to any other color okay so now here instead of blue i want to go back to the orange color so right now it's looking like it and now i want to add the very last effect because now initially we can see the social media icons but i don't want it initially when we will hover over on this card it will be appeared so to make it happen we need to add a bit custom css and you know we can just simply go to jimfahaddigital.com from there if you scroll down a bit here you can see hide and show social icon css just copy this css snippet from here go inside elementor page builder then just after our existing css snippet i'm pasting the css snippet here now we cannot see the social media icons initially but if we hover over on it we can see everything together i really like it now if you want to add more profile cards then you just need to select the most outer column then let's duplicate it i'm duplicating the outer column one more time and now we can just simply delete the left empty column also let's delete the right empty column from here also i'm changing the images to give it a real feel so first let's change its image from here content tab let's select this image for the first one now for the third one let's select another image so i'm selecting this image click on insert media also you know you can easily change these names from here so for the first one i'm just typing here member a and for the last one here i'm typing member b like this 
All right, let's now have a look how it's looking on mobile device and tablet device. And to check its responsiveness from here, just click on this responsive mode icon. First, let's have a look how it's looking on tablet device. So from top, click on tablet. So on the tablet device, it's looking great, but we need to fix this social icons. So just click over this social icon, go under its style tab. From here, let's make the size to 20. Right now, it looks perfect. So let's do the same with all other social icons. And you know, we can simply do it just by right clicking here. Let's just copy it, then right click here again and click on paste style. Also with the third one, right click here and click on paste style. Now all of them are looking great on tablet device. Let's now go to the mobile device. So on the mobile device, they are looking great, but I think we need to add some space at the top and bottom. So to do it, just select this inner section from under advanced tab. I'm just adding margin top and bottom to 20 pixel. So right now it's looking great. So let's do the same with other cards. Just select the inner section, add 20 pixel margin at the top and bottom. Also with the third one, select the intersection. Only on mobile device, on the top and bottom, let's add 20 pixel of margin. So right now they are looking great on mobile device and also on the tablet device they are looking great. Same on the desktop device. So now click on this X to exit from the responsive mode. All right, so we are basically done. But now I wanna go to my YouTube community post because all the time before making any tutorial, I post that on my community tab so I can read all of your thoughts on it and try to improve the design depending on your requests. So here I can see the e-com business. He or she says, but with mobile effects too, 82% of internet is on mobile now. For sure. Actually, whenever I make any effect or any design, I always keep the mobile design first on my mind. And you see, this design is already responsive for mobile device and tablet device. Now let's go back to community post. Now you all guys just appreciating me. I'm really grateful to all of you guys. Here, Ajrul Nakib says, dang bro, this is looking sick. Thank you so much. And here, Aditya Sharma says, yes, plus if possible, how to show profile detail content on click or hover around 500 words. That's a great question. But probably I will do that on a different tutorial because if I want to do it in this tutorial, it will take more 5 to 10 minutes. And probably I have got another interesting questions from you. And yep, here you go. So brother, your name is probably Nirmal Nagpal. Correct me if I'm wrong. So you said, yes, bro, please add aid button. If we want to add map link, can we use for digital visiting card also? Thanks. Thanks to you, Nirmal, bro. So actually, I'm not pretty sure about that. But if I'm not wrong, probably you are asking for adding 10 social media icons here, right? All right, that would be interesting. So here I'm showing you quickly how to do that. So first of all, you know, just click on this social media widget. You see here we have added already four social media icons. Okay, let's add another four really quickly. All right, so I have added here totally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, first, let me show you here one trick first. So if you want to put them equally into two rows, then you can do it simply from here. Above the alignment, we can see columns. As we want to put it in two rows, so from here columns, I'm selecting the two column. Actually not two columns because we want to split it in four columns. So we need to select four from here. You see they are now equally divided into two rows. Then if you also want to play with the space in between these row, then you can just simply go to the style tab. From here, you see this is the rows gap option. If you just drag it to the right, you see the space in between these two rows is increasing, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just keeping it default. But now here we have got one problem. We cannot see our text and our title properly. And fixing it is very simple. You just need to increase this inner section's height. So just select the inner section and from under its layout tab, instead of here 350, I'm just making it 400 pixel. So right now our middle column is looking like it. And if we hover over on it, we can see the beautiful animation. Also here the eight social media icons with it. Cool. And when you are done, don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work. 
I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also, press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also, if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you on the next video. For now, bye-bye.